But as soon as you start talking about political things, that's when everybody weighs in. Yeah, everybody gets pissed off. Because a lot of people are very extreme, you know? People are very sure about what they believe. You know, they're on the far right or they're on the far left of politics. And you know, if you're on the far right or the far left, you know what you've done now? You've gone too far. <laughs> yeah, because that's where you find the extremist wackos, right out there. Because after that 9-11, I was so mad, I said, that's it. I'm becoming a hardcore, hard-ass, right-wing Republican fucker. So you run all the way over to the far right side. And there they are. There's your right-wing crew, a bunch of money-grubbing, greenhouse-gassing, seal-clubbing, oil-drilling, Bible-thumping, missile-firing, right-to-lifing, lethal-injecting hypocrites. There they are. There's your crew. There they are. People whose idea of a good time is trapping a dead panda to the front of a Lincoln Navigator and running over everybody in the gay parade. I can't deal with them. Get out of here. I'm going over here to the left side to be with all these loony lefty liberal people. And there's the crew. A bunch of bong-smoking, America-bashing, flag-burning, yoga-posing, incense-burning, dolphin-saving, salmon-eating hypocrites. <laughs> there they are. There's the crew. These are the sensitive liberal people who are always yelling about everybody's freedom of speech and expression. Unless you happen to say something that pisses them off. Then they can't wait to tie your ass to the back bumper of a Toyota hybrid and drag it to the Berkeley campus and drop your carcass in front of the Fidel Castro building for the continuing study of why America sucks. <laughs> Lunatics. The only place it makes sense to be, I think, is a little more moderate in here, right? The centrist, the middle, like me, yeah, yeah. Bunch of flip-flopping, fence-sitting, <laughs> half-in, half-out, half-assed, non-voting so they can bitch no matter who wins. <laughs> Those are your guys. But the ones that annoy me slightly more than all the rest of us are the trillionaire, bleeding-heart liberals. People who are going to change the world if they have to spend every buck of your money to do it. The limousine liberal people. People living in a mansion that's got 20 rooms that nobody's in, they're air conditioned. Got a pool that nobody goes in, it's heated. Flying across the country on a 20-person jet all by themselves because they don't want to be late for a speech about energy conservation. <laughs> Get off. Get off. Get off.